Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I've got an exciting debut for you. <laughs> a debut for you. It is the new Ohuhu, an Ohuhu debut for you. It is the new Ohuhu marker refill inks. You guys have been requesting this. You guys have been asking Ohuhu for this for years. Uh, I've been asking them for this for years and they've been developing this for years. Actually, they put a survey out on their blog a couple of years ago asking what colors would you want to have refills in so they could roll out the most popular colors first. And they have come out with 51 colors and I have them right here. I will have a photo of this on my blog, thefrugalcrafter.wordpress.com so you can peruse this and look at your marker collection and see if you have these colors. And we're going to go over these today. Uh, we're going to look at the pros and cons. We're going to look at how to refill a marker and uh, talk all about it. So hopefully any questions you have about these will be answered. And if I miss something, well, please leave a comment down below. The first thing I want to do is open one of these bad boys up and this is how they're going to come packaged so that you know there's not going to be any risk of drying out in transit. It is a little packaging heavy, but it does protect the product. And I suppose if you were finding these at a retail retailer, they have a pang tab, which is kind of handy. And in each of the packages, you get a little um, demonstration, uh, instructions on how to refill your markers so that if you've never done this before, you'll know what to do. And we're going to go over that in this video, so you don't have to worry about that. But you have this for a reminder, which is nice. And it also, um, it kind of tells you how much ink to put in each of the markers, which we'll get to that as well. And then we've got this little blister pack here with our ink refill. I know it is a little a little packaging heavy, but I'm sure they just don't want to have them spilling or busting open or if they do get damaged in shipping, which ooh, who's great about replacing stuff that's damaged, but um, just so you don't have a big inky mess <laughs> if you had one reinker that got smashed by the delivery truck or whatever. So there you've got some information on the back. And let's take a look. It's about the same size as a marker, you're going to notice. So you could store this with your regular markers. They have a screw off cap, so you don't have to worry about it spilling on you. And you're going to see that there is a nice long needle tip. So you don't have to have um, a syringe or anything fancy to refill your markers. You can stick this right in the marker hole and be good to go. And they're also pre-opened. I have purchased inks before where I have to snip the top off of them. And not only is it messy, but I always end up wasting some ink and sometimes I get the hole too big and, um, and it's just a pain. So I like that this is all ready to go. And then you screw the cap on nice and tight and you can put that right in your marker trays or your marker storage, whatever you're doing. And it'll take up the same space as a marker. So what I did was I actually pulled out all of my different Ohuhu variations here and I put them on a piece of paper. Actually, I think I'll slide them right on my black mat because I think it will be a little bit easier to see. And these are all of my black markers. Oftentimes I find that black goes dry faster. I'm not exactly sure why. Black, which is like the darkest color, and also the pastel shades, which are the lighter tones, those are what tends to go dry first on me. It's probably because I use those colors a little more often, especially for the black, because I'll grab the black marker and I'll just use it for whatever. I love to do black backgrounds, so I go through the black ink and I have to refill. And I I've always just grabbed other inks in the past to refill, but we actually have one for the Ohuhu now. So looking at these markers, you're going to notice that they're different sizes. So your refills are going to last differently depending on what size you're getting. So with this, the Honolulu marker, the refill will refill a Honolulu marker five times. So these reinkers cost $4.99, although Ohuhu is having their birthday sale now through July 7th, 2023. So if you need to restock on any Ohuhu stuff, they've got some really good deals. Um, if you spend over $200, it's 20% off your whole order. So that's um, that's pretty epic if you're buying a bunch of stuff because their prices are pretty good and you don't even need to put a coupon code in, which is nice. So I'll put that information down below as well. And I'll put a coupon code in case you're not spending that much. You can use a coupon code to save a little bit more as well. Now on the, uh, on the body of the refill, you're going to see that it gives you the color code for the Honolulu, which which is this guy here, or the Ohuhu, the um, Oahu, which is their classic marker size here. So it gives you those color numbers. They happen to be the same in black. You'll often see that black is often 120. Um, and then on their website, you will see a conversion that has some of the other, the other colors that are used. Let's see, do I have that on this paperwork? Um, 
Yes, I on this chart that I'm going to put on my website, it has the con conversion for all the four lines. But because the Oahu and the Honolulu are the most popular markers, that's what it has on screen printed on the body of this. And there's also um, little ticky marks to show you how much ink is in there so you could precisely refill it because marker bodies are opaque and it's hard to see what's in there. So it'll do the Honolulu style A and B uh, five times. It'll do the Oahu and the Kala series markers eight times. So you can get eight markers worth of ink from one bottle. And then the Molokai marker, which is this bad boy. I love this for backgrounds, the wide marker. It'll do the wide marker uh, three times if you were going from dry. So um, generally, I don't recommend you waiting until your markers are bone dry to refill them because when the nib starts to dry out, then they start to break down, especially on the brush ends. So once you start to feel a little bit of drag, that's when you want to refill. So I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate that here. My my black markers are actually all nice and juicy, so I'm not going to use that. But I do have a few pastel tones here that do need a little TLC. Let's take a look at a marker that's ready to be re-inked and I'll show you how it's done. So this marker here, it doesn't feel too bad, but it's starting to get a little bit dry and also the nib is starting to get a little bit soft. You can see how when we color we're getting this kind of like feathered effect, which is kind of pretty, but really the marker is ready to be re-inked. So because the nib actually needs to be replaced here, um, I do have some fresh nibs, but I think I can just flip that one around. So what I'm going to do, and this is tricky, and I don't recommend pulling out the brush nib to ink it unless you also need to either flip it around or replace it because it's really easy to damage the brush nib with the tweezers. Let me show you on the chisel edge. You want to, first, you want to uncap both ends before you re-ink, but it's really easy to take out the chisel nib. The chisel nib is really sturdy. I pull it out a little bit. I grasp it right from the base and pull it out a little bit till I can see... Can you see there how there's like a little bit of a notch where the nib gets a little bit skinnier where it goes into the body? Then I get my tweezer under there and I pull that out. Now that's how I like to re-ink. I'd rather just drip it, drip it right into the center and just like this. So this is how, if I didn't need to replace a nib, this is how I would re-ink my marker. Pull out the chisel nib because I know I'm not going to damage it. It's very sturdy. I put the tip in here and I can, I put it until I kind of feel that pad, right? I feel that pad. And then I would just give it a little squeeze. Now, remember I told you that these markers um, takes three mLs of ink. You can refill one of these five times with three mLs of ink. You can actually look at the little chart on the side and you could count out three when you're doing that. I don't want to put that much in yet because I'm going to show you another way to re-ink it. So after I've got enough ink in there, then I would take my tweezer or I just take my fingers, whatever, and I would put the nib back in. Try it again, like I said, grasp it by as close to that little notch, as close to the marker body as you can so you don't damage the part you actually touch to the paper. All right, now, because I wanna actually replace that nib, there's two ways you can do it. I find it kinda hard to pull out the brush nib with my tweezers, but you do it the same way. You would, you would reach in there and you would pull it out and I find that kind of difficult. And you can see this isn't completely dry, but it is a little damaged. So what I do, if I can't get it out with the tweezers, I grab it with a paper towel. I find it a little bit easier sometimes. And sometimes I'll do paper towel and tweezers. All right, so what I have here is a nib and I can turn this around so that the sharper nib is out. So I'm gonna replace that in like that. But before I do that, I am gonna refill this. So again, we're gonna put the tip of the marker in there we're going to give it a little bit of squeeze and we're going to check. I'm going to check what we have left, how much we put in there. I haven't put much in there at all. It's hard. It is kind of hard to tell how much you're getting in there. You must uncap both ends to release the pressure so that you can account for the ink displacement. All right, then I'm gonna put my nib back in. You could wear gloves, that's probably a good idea. Wait a minute, which side was, yeah, that's the soft side. That's the side I wanna replace. And then I'm gonna use a napkin just cause I have a little, I feel like I'm gentler with the brush nibs with the napkin and I'm gonna push it right back in place.
Okay, then what I like to do is I like to cap my marker back up. And I like to let it set for a couple minutes to let the ink hit both ends. And of course, I want to wipe my nozzle, put my cap back on, screw it on good, and then this is set to either go in my marker storage or actually I have mine in like a little container there with my other refills. So that's a really nice way to store it. You don't have to store these flat because it's open liquid ink. In fact, I would recommend storing them upright if you have space for it, but because they are in leak proof containers, you can put them with your marker storage. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, the other advice I'm gonna give you is not to wait until your markers are completely dry before refilling. And this can actually make your refilling a little bit easier too. So I'm gonna show you the other way you can refill it, and this is called the dripping method. And I'm gonna show you with this, uh, this Oahu version. This is their classic version. And this isn't really too dry, but I'm noticing I'm starting to get a little bit of that feathery effect when I color with it. So if you just like, it's just starting to get dry, you just wanna make sure that it stays in nice working order. What you wanna do is on the chisel end, you still wanna, you actually, I don't know if you really have to uncap both ends, but it, it doesn't hurt. What you wanna do is just drip about 20 drops on that chisel end. Now you might not need quite so much if it's just a little bit dry, but this is going to uh, be an easier way. You don't need to get your fingers dirty. You don't need to worry about damaging your nibs. And it's just a really easy way. It just takes a little bit longer to refill them that way. So that's the dripping method. And you can do that on both ends. And if you have a marker where the, uh, the nib has gone dry, I would recommend doing both methods. I would definitely, uh, I would fill the interior barrel and then I would drip some on the nibs because it's gonna need a real uh, total recharge. And when the nibs dry out, that's when damage happens. That's when you start to get that soft nib because you start pushing it a little bit harder, trying to get a little more ink. And then the extra drag and extra friction because a dry nib is going to drag against the paper. There's no ink to lubricate it. It's gonna wear down that nib faster. So you wanna make sure you get those nibs nice and um, nice and hydrated. So there's two methods for re-inking. Do the drip method if you're not crazy about pulling out nibs, just takes a little longer. And if your marker, marker is bone dry, you wanna do both, fill the inner cha chamber and then also fill the nibs. So now let's take a look at our marker here. It's had a little time to recharge. It's nice and juicy. I don't know if I have that nib in quite far enough. I'm gonna give it a little push. I, I was worried I wasn't contacting with the, uh, Oh, I think I am for how juicy that is. I was worried it wasn't, I didn't push it in far enough into the marker, but it seems like I am. Cause the nibs need to touch the, the pad on the inside. Yep, and that looks nice and juicy. We're getting a nice solid mark. Now I don't let my markers, like I said, I don't let them go too dry, but um, so you're not gonna get a humongous before and after, but I, that's what I recommend. You don't want to let them get too dry because because of that, and then we've got a nice solid, nice solid mark there. And um, the ink should be, yep, the ink is down on the fine tip pen as well. And then don't be too horrified if like you're doing a purple or a pink marker refill and the wet ink looks a little different than the dry ink. For some reason, purples and pinks, I find they lean a little pinkier when they're wet. And then when they dry, they go a little bit more bluier, so, that shift can is really apparent when you're re-inking. Just try not to worry about that. Now, like I said, all of the marker inks have a sticker on the body that tells you what um, color they are for either the Honolulu or the Oahu line. And then you can find the chart that's got the conversion for the other two lines on, it should be on the Oahu website. I'm gonna have it on my website so that you can look that up as well. But there you have it. There are the new marker refills. I have 24 of the 51 colors. But 51 colors are on the Ohuhu website right now. And they are the most common to use up first markers. They ask their audience, what colors would you want first? And that's what they use to get their, um, to get their color scheme together. And I just wanna show you this chart one more time so you can see there's a good range of your really pale colors, your um, your pale skin tones, your darker skin tones and earth tones. We've got a lot of pale blues and pale greens uh, and a lot of our lighter grays. Those are the colors that go dry quicker. So, uh, so we've got a good variety to start off with. And they're, I'm trying to think, did I miss, did I miss anything? They are 
$4.99 a piece, but there's that um, birthday sale on now if you want to check that out. They're 16 mLs of ink. So Copic, their Copic refills are 12 mLs, so these are 16 mLs. They're a little bit bigger than the Copics. They're not quite as big as some of the other um, some of the other reinkers out there, but still a hearty amount of ink. And they'll refill all of their marker series, the Honolulu, the Oahu, the Molokai, and the Kala. I think that pretty much that pretty much sums it up. So I hope you have enjoyed this overview of the Ohuhu ink refills for their alcohol-based markers. Now these are the alcohol-based markers, they're not water-based markers, so I just want to make that clear in case you have some of their water-based markers, don't refill them with these, otherwise you'll be turning them into alcohol-based markers. Unless that's what you want to do, then I guess you live your life and do what you want to do, but these are for their alcohol markers. And I want to thank Ohuhu for sending me these refills and sponsoring this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this demonstration. And until next time, happy crafting.